be a good day. What's up, guys? I am Michael McAnally, and this is Leo the Hiking Dog. For the last year, we have been planning and preparing for this through hike of the Appalachian Trail. Thank you for joining our adventure. If you're enjoying the journey, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. We would be super thankful. Good morning, day 34. We are going to explore the town of Damascus. We're leaving Lady Dies after that amazing breakfast that she made us this morning. Um, and Leo's learning how to deal with chickens he's never seen before so they're exciting all kind of feelings in him right now and <laughs> i'm trying to teach him not to react to them but unsuccessfully so far but this is uh exposure training you know he's done a lot of training but chickens is not one of them <laughs> so we're gonna check out the town of damascus we're gonna go through the downtown area we do have to get to the uh, the grocery store to get his food for the next few days and so we're going to do all that today. So excited to show you guys Damascus. One of the things that you'll see here is a lot of these bike rental stations. There is a trail here called the Virginia Creeper Trail. And it's a very popular biking trail. So you're going to see a lot of, uh, of places where they're renting bikes and, and things like that. And like a lot of the places you stay at have bikes for you to use as well. So it's very cool. Very interesting little town there's not much here but i'm going to show you guys everything that there is all right so this is one of two outfitter stores here this is the mount rogers outfitter store i didn't go into any of these yesterday because i wanted to go in with you guys and kind of show you everything they have available and what's around Now the town of Damascus itself is just a little over one mile long. So there's not much here besides the outfitter stores. There's a couple of churches. Um, one of the churches is really cool. allows hikers to sleep there for a donation of $10. So that's a pretty cool thing that they do. I think you just have to set up your own sleep pad and everything and you're basically sleeping in the basement of the church. But, but it is a cool option if, um, if you're on a budget and you, know, you don't have money for a hostel then that would be a really cool way to, to be able to stay in Damascus and experience the town, but yet not have to put out the money for a hostel. They do have lots of, of, of bed and breakfasts here. They have a few, if you have a few Airbnbs as well. Um, I'll show you that beautiful neighborhood that I came out of when I came into town. That was a gorgeous little neighborhood. But um, we're getting into the downtown area. They, uh, they did build a brand new AT... Um, conservatory uh, center here. So I'm gonna show you guys that as well. So on that side of the street, you also have the Main Street Coffee and Cream, which is only open Monday through Thursday for now. And they also have the uh, Discover Damascus shop over there. We're hopefully going to catch those open on the way back here through town. But we'll see, we'll see what, what's open. Over here we have the Dragonfly Inn. One of these homes that are probably a couple hundred years old. That's... Uh, bed and breakfast very cool all right so here is the damascus police department town hall and fire station all in one building it says we've uh, already walked all the way down main street nothing's open so we're going to come back down after we go to the store and pick up leo's food and i'll show you some of the places when they're open all right we're in the uh, park area where essentially during Trail Days turns into Tent City. This is where they allow a lot of the tenting. Um, they got a caboose set up over here. There's a couple of public bathrooms, but they got this really cool old walking bridge over there too. So let me show you all that.
the Damascus Outfitters. They've uh, got pretty much everything that you would need um, to resupply uh, your backpacker meals, stuff like that. If you need any gear changes, obviously they've got plenty of things like that. Just your typical gear shop. Got lots of um, Virginia Creeper stuff as well. This is one of the uh, the many local stores here in Damascus. That's a good place to hang out. Yeah. Oh, that's great. All right. Well, that's pretty much all of downtown Damascus. Everything is is still not open. Uh, they have a couple antique stores, a couple thrift type stores, but uh, nothing just nothing seems to be open. <laughs> it's one of those towns that kind of opens if they want to. Uh, I'm standing in front of a, a Trails Artware store as well. They have a whole, a whole bunch of Appalachian Trail type of stuff in it, but again, just not open. Seems to be the theme for this time of year um, in places like this. I guess the bubble comes through in about a month or so, and that's when a lot of these places will, will open up. Uh, even though it's not very much here, it's a pretty cool downtown. I mean, it's a pretty cool, like, little vibey town. You just got to come at the right time of year. And apparently I'm too early. Um, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and head back to the um, the Lady Dies. And we're going to relax and hang out. And find something for lunch and then find something for dinner. It might be the Damascus Diner three times. I don't know. Uh, I really don't, there's a, other than the gas station and the subway, I don't think there's anything else open. So, there's also this Main Street Coffee Sweets and Eats. However, closed, only open Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So, um, here's another little store, Discover Damascus, closed. Store open in March, Thursday through Sunday. So, says it opens at, I don't know. Hours here are so funny. Um, and, and what these stores will open and won't open for. So anyway, all right, we're heading back. All right, we're going to go out for our lunch break. We're going to hit up the Dairy King is what they got here on the corner. Uh, they just reopened it. There's not very many options here. There's really only the, uh, the diner, the Damascus Diner. Uh, the Dairy King, the gas station food, and I think maybe a subway. Uh, if you walk all the way back to the grocery store, which is on the other side of town, which is like a mile and a half, um, which I've already done once today, so I'm not going to do that again, there is a pizza joint. But other than that, not very many food options here in Damascus. The uh, Lady Di just told me that the I think the, the, the population here is only 700. So <laughs> very, very limited uh options here in town but we're gonna go check out the dairy king and uh maybe get burger fries and some and a milkshake and then i don't know what we're gonna do for dinner tonight but i am gonna go see the chiropractor today i had a little bit of a, a sharp pain in the uh upper side of my neck probably from not having a hip belt for the last 100 miles but thank goodness i do have a hip belt now but the uh, chiropractor is going to meet me at two o'clock and we're gonna get that squared away. Um, um, it, it's more of a luxury than anything. If, if I if I couldn't see one, it wouldn't be a big deal. Um, but since there is one and I am on a down day, I figured why not go ahead and get it taken care of so I can continue to hike. All right, so we're gonna go over here to the Dairy King and get us something to eat. And I'll talk to you guys soon. All right, here at the Dairy King, they've kind of recreated an old school vibe. Um, so, I'm going to show you guys around. Got me a burger and fries, a chocolate shake, and a drink. Time to eat. Well, the Dairy King actually was pretty good. It's probably the best food I've had since I've been in town. So don't let the exterior fool you. It's actually pretty good. Uh, nice lady and her daughter, they're running it and um, they really care about their, their food. And so it was high quality and, and uh, freshly made. So that was a big surprise. 
So, all right, we are off to see the chiropractor next. Hopefully we don't get rained on coming back because I didn't bring my raincoat. Trail Town Chiropractic. It's right next to right next to the uh, Damascus Diner, and uh, Father Tom made an adjustment for me, and so we'll uh, see how it goes. We'll see see if it uh, helps or kind of you know the area's inflamed a little bit. He can tell that, and so there's not much I can do until the inflammation goes down to see how much it actually helps or not. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna get our bags packed up and make sure we got everything ready to go for tomorrow. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for here in Damascus. So we're gonna have breakfast in the morning and I'm gonna hit the trail first thing in the morning. So, um, can't wait to get back out there and get some more miles in. We got Grayson Highlands coming up. So make sure you stay tuned because that's where the ponies are. So that's gonna be super cool in the next couple of days. So, all right, stay tuned. We'll see you guys on the next one. Yeah.